it's time for story of the week. I'm Danica. I'm Balin. And today, Balin, we've got a really nice story for you. It's called One, Two, Three of Australian Animals. So we're going to do some counting. We're going to look and see how many animals we can see on each page. And there's also the sign for Australian in this story. So if you've been following along with us for Wednesday's sign of the week, we've been doing I am Australian, haven't we? So the sign for Australia, we've done this before, is by taking your middle finger and putting it on your thumb. You're gonna bounce it once and then flick that finger out. Can you do that one? Bounce, flick. Australian animals. So it's the same sign for Australia as well. All right, let's do some counting together. So I'm not sure which number it goes up to. Baylen, what number does it go up to? Number 12. So maybe we'll start by showing you all the numbers. Are you ready? So when we're using uh, the signs for numbers in Auslan, using our keyword signs, we turn the back of our hand out towards our audience. So sometimes, generally, we might count like this, like a gesture. But when we're signing and counting, we turn it this way. So let's do one, one. Two, three, four, five. Now turn your hand over, tuck your fingers in and bend your thumb. Can you see that one? Six, Six. seven, eight, eight, nine. Nine's really tricky. You've got to keep your little finger tucked in. And when we get to ten, we're going to flick our hand out with our middle finger. Ten. ten. Eleven is our one finger but wiggly. 11 and 12. So let's see which animals we can find from 1 through to 12. This story is what is by Bronwyn Bancroft. Who's on number one? Platypus. A platypus. So the sign for platypus is by taking your four fingers and tapping them on your thumb twice under your chin. Platypus. We've got one platypus diving. So you might see the sign for dive done like this. Do you think a platypus would dive like that? Has he got two feet? No, maybe he would dive like this. We could just do the motion of the platypus diving. All right, we're up to number two. And what are these ones, Balin? Brolgers. Brolgers. There's not an exact sign for brolger, so we're just going to sign bird. You could always add Australian bird, but there's lots of different Australian birds. So just sign bird. Two brogas dancing. Great dancing. What's number three? Three koalas. Put your claw hands on your, on your shoulders. Koalas dozing. So they've gone to sleep or sleep. They're not in a bed, so we'll sign sleep like this. many is on this page, Valen? Should we count them? One, two, three, four. Four crocodiles snapping. They're crunching with their jaws. So you'll also see this done with a flat hand. Snap, snap, snap. We're going to use our big jaws. Snap, snap. What number now? Five. Five kookaburras laughing. Ha 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 ha. How do kookaburras laugh? <laughs> Let's do kookaburra again. So take your eight shape and bounce it forward. Kookaburra. What number is this one? Six. So taking that good sign and bending your thumb. That can be a little bit tricky for little fingers or if you've got any arthritis in your fingers, that can be a bit of a difficult shape to make. Six sugar gliders sailing. So the sign for bat is like fly or wings. And if they're sailing, they're not sailing in a boat. So maybe they're sailing around or flying. Seven, 
seven, turtles. This is one of my favorite signs. So take your non-dominant hand and put your dominant hand on top and wiggle your flippers. Seven turtles plodding. How do you think a turtle might plod? Plod, 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 plod on their tiny feet. Eight frogs leaping. So they're jumping. How do you think a frog would jump? Jump, jump, jump. Nine, so here's that tricky number. So you're gonna keep your little finger tucked in and turn them around this way. Nine, you got your nine finger? It's hard, isn't it? Nine lizards hissing. How do you think a lizard would hiss? Good job. To number 10. So that's your flicking hand. Ten, ten ducks gliding. So that's almost the same as the sign for bird with one finger, but we're gonna use two fingers. Ducks, how do you think ducks glide? Glide across the water. So we're up to number 11, and when we get from 11 to 19, we make the sign for the number, but we wiggle it. So 11 is like your one on the side and give it a bit of a wiggle. 11 geckos. So we'll do the sign for lizard again for gecko because there's no real sign for gecko. 11 geckos climbing. Where do you think a gecko would climb? Maybe up a wall or up a tree. We're up to number 12. So wiggle your two fingers. 12 emus. So you might see it done with two fingers like this. We're going to do it with all of our fingers. Emus. 12 emus running. Do you think an emu would run like that? No, maybe he would run like this. Run, 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 run. One. We hope you've enjoyed learning some numbers or numbers with us and some great Australian animals. Thanks for joining us for Story of the Week and we'll see you next time. Bye.